Okay, hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and we are here with Louisa Hamachek. Hi. And she's explaining the fallout. We had a big long video going, and we're just going to make another short one. Mm -hmm. on the, how long is this going to be? Five minutes? Five minutes. Okay, well, we'll I'll keep track of the time. Okay. So, um, here we have the Northwest, and this is Nuclear Northwest. My biggest concern is that Hanford, a nuclear power, the power plant still operating at Hanford Nuclear Bomb Works, it's called the Columbia Generating Station, that it should be shut down because it's in a fault line, fault zone of earthquakes, and now we found out about quite a number of new ones that make it very dangerous to operate any longer. Discussed in our last video. Yeah, and you, and if this has a an earthquake effect of breaking it, and the uh, cooling system doesn't work, then the meltdown will create a uh, collection of hydrogen gas that will explode, can explode inside of the containment building and shattering it, which might already be broken. And then, um, at any rate, this can be as was in Fukushima and a number of the power plants and the waste storage areas, um, scattering fallout of radioactive particles of cement and other things and the uh, uh, highly radioactive parts of the reactor core into the air. The predominant winds blow towards Spokane, but the northwest has Rocky Mountains that hold it in, but when it hits them, it'll go south to uh, Boise right here, and uh, and here's Pendleton. If it goes south, it hit Pendleton. If it goes, uh, sometimes the winds are turning in a spiral, then it'll pick it up and go to Seattle right there. Um, the, but there's uh, Cascade Mountains that will deflect it a little bit, so it'll go to Vancouver, maybe, if it's deflected, but a big storm will yank it right into Seattle, and then it'll bring it to Eugene, Oregon, as it comes around like this. Great. But then that spiral will move across America, and it'll hit Chicago, and it'll hit Washington, D.C., and New York, yeah. and then it'll go across the Atlantic, and in 26 days to 30 days, it will have gone around the northern hemisphere and returned to here. So that's it. How do what do we do? We have two and a half minutes to tell them. Okay, what, what you got to do happens. is get this shut down as soon as possible by having your congressperson uh, be aware of the danger of that and that they were granted their operating license uh, incorrectly and there was not the fault lines mentioned and uh, they should look at. Um, the group of it's already been acknowledged. They even acknowledged it. Yeah, and Physicians for Social Responsibility put together many of the reports and got a geologist to analyze this, and he's an engineer, and he's from Kennewick, and he uh, says it the uh, ma their application did not include the things, and that from the application, the engineering of this power plant will not withstand the earthquakes that are expected. And Great. So we are in danger, all the northwest, of fallout that's radioactive. And the people of Fukushima area were hard hit, but we in America got seven days after Fukushima, we got the fallout coming to Oregon. Um, so then uh, I want to point out this. I kneel is the next thing to worry about. There's like a couple, like four, they keep it secret. It's the Idaho National or Nuclear or Navy uh, uh Laboratories. I Neil, it's called, and it changes its name, but it may, may basically is run by the Navy for training people in operating nuclear reactors, which they use at here, Bangor Nuclear Submarine Base. These can be sloshed in the tsunami expected from the uh, Cascadia. Oh my God! Earthquake. And Seattle's right there, so take your pick. That's it. Get Congress to shut off that nuke. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. So Seattle is toast if they if those things are there when there's an if earthquake. If the wind is blowing that way at that time. But I mean, if we have an earthquake and they have their nuclear submarines there, see, Seattle's toast. Yeah, and and because what is this, what the is this submarines thing Mount Rainier going to do when the plates go shoving themselves into the goo? You know, it's probably a What do the people do? What do people do in a nuclear fallout? What do we do? Stay inside for a few days and then go out? And no, get the heck out? You and stay leave? inside for a long time. For how long? Um, Two weeks? Well, it depends. You can uh, find out how fast the wind is blowing, and then you'll know how fast it'll get to you. You should know how far you are from Hanford. Um, and then you look at the weather reports right then on your computers and on your phones, and you see what direction the wind is blowing and then you and they'll and then you look it up on a fancier weather report for the f speed of the wind and then you'll get your own thing don't trust the government for telling you you're safe they don't want to be held responsible so they 
It's the Department of Energy that runs it. Wow. Right. And so they will not, um, they have, own I it. believe, changed no. some of the wind reports about Hanford so that you don't think it's going to go to really? Spokane. But have they does. already done that? They've already done that. Well, I've been looking for, um, like, the, the um, wind reports over the years so that we can see how many times in a year does, how many days in a year does the wind go from Hanford and the Columbia Basin here? over the Cascades, and, and this is Wenatchee right there, yeah. then Snoqualmie Pass, and then it comes down into Ren Renton and into Seattle. So when does it do that? How many times it does do that? And people who know how to Google it, go find your weather reports if you live anywhere in the Columbia Basin, like here's Spokane, here's Coeur d'Alene, here's Spokane. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And these are all Indian reservations. Um, I don't even like to call them that, but that's what they are. And so I nations aren't they separate nations? Yeah, but there are government making the native folks be downwind yes. of their project, yes. and it's not fair to keep tormenting these right. noble people who had this as their beautiful place of fish and salmon of the old days. And look what we did with it! Like we really, we like disgustingly a nuclear. A disaster yeah. for the entire fucking planet. Seven nuclear power plants operating at Ineal. This is that is how they say thank you? <laughs> yeah, I like. Thank uh, you for letting us kick you off our land. Now let us fuck it up for the entire and planet. And use you as guinea pigs to see how you take the radiation that we spew out Mother occasionally fuckers. from our radioactive. This is why I will not, Louisa. Sites. I will not tolerate nuclear apologists on where this video is going. To okay, post did it. we need to? So uh, we're going to end here, you guys. Put your courage feet on because this And get a Geiger is, counter. Yes, and make sure you uh, have containers to put water in. So And put water in them. And put water in them and change it up regularly. In an earthquake. Okay. Ciao.